What's up, dudes? Um, I don't know about y'all, but I'm off work right now for a couple more days, and it's raining outside here in Texas, in Dallas, Texas, and uh, I got nothing else better to do than to make some videos. Um, this is my second video for today, and this is, uh, we want to look at this uh, Coyote four-wheel drive, uh, I think SG Racing, um, an Italian company. I think this came out, you know, at some point in the 80s as well. Um, <clears throat> I started seeing these on eBay maybe a year ago, and I thought, man, it's just so ugly. Uh, I gotta get one and see if it's you know, I, I just never seen anything like this uh, before. <laughs> Certainly not when I was a kid. Um, never heard of this car. But, man, it is just such an oddball. Uh, the the uh, design is just so different from anything else that was out at the time. And, yeah, I just thought maybe uh, you guys like to see it. Um, there's some videos out there uh, covering these. There's one a, a guy did um in another language i don't know what it was i apologize but he uh he kind of detailed a lot of the upgrades he did but again it wasn't in english so I, I i couldn't really understand what he was saying but he he um i know he covered a lot of the topics um a lot of the design flaws uh for this buggy and you know we can look at some of those now but anyways um just overall i think it's a neat looking car um the you know you're clearly you're stuck with really just one option for battery you got to split your cells uh they're just kind of clamped on either side of the chassis i guess you might call this a ladder chassis i don't know um maybe i made that up um it is very unique I, I don't know that there are any other four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive buggies out there like this it was also shaft driven four-wheel drive so you got a diff up front a diff in the back and no no anything um no diff in the middle just straight up front and rear um i don't know what you'd call that but uh yeah, it's it's going to turn both diffs uh, one way or the other. Um, the diffs in this car are complete garbage. Uh, I've tried every way I can think of to make them stronger. Basically, the little uh, carriage that the diff is in, uh, it's made out of plastic and... Um, I guess it heats up and this little pin slides out and the little uh, bubble gears grind into one another and it tears itself up. Um, maybe driving around on the sidewalk or, you know, just for fun, it'd be fine, but I'd really be kind of scared to drive this thing, though I will anyways. But anyways, the differentials are complete trash uh, in this car. Um, if someone, I noticed there's a tag version of this same car and it appears to have a like a copper or bronze sleeve that slides over the outside of the carrier and that probably uh, would make that thing a lot stronger um, a lot more durable but I haven't come across any of those um, or I'd replace these with it anyhow uh, the other I guess oddball thing one of the other oddball things hope you can see uh, or the way the shocks mount. Um, these things, you know, this one's okay because it's not too worn out. But when the car gets a little older and after some use, uh, the shocks will just fly right off these little uh, ball, these little balls, little balls. Um, so, I, I mean, I see why they did what they did. But, man, um, uh, more traditional shock mount situation would really make uh this car a lot um more durable 
uh, on the track. Uh, I tried to have some parts made in Shapeways, but um, I totally goofed up, so uh, I may try that again at some point. Um, the way the motor mounts there is kind of unique as well, uh, but I mean, I like what they're going for here with all the the symmetry and the weight distribution. Um, you know, everything is pretty well balanced in the car. Uh, the original motor mount piece here was this black plastic and is so soft and squishy. You could just push on this motor and you could see the gap widening between the pinion and the spur. So I had a, a piece made uh, by Shapeways and it's, I, I don't know, you know, not, not tremendous not tremendously stronger, but uh, still it's, it's a little sturdier than the original. I'd like to go with an aluminum piece if I could, but it's so expensive. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, I guess that's really about it. Um, I, I, I will try to run this guy. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty smooth should should be okay for a quick uh jam around the uh, down the street um but other than that uh really i just bought it because it's so odd and um i guess a little piece of history uh this might be a lesson and um don't do everything just because you can uh i don't know i don't know i i although i do i have read that this thing was competitive at least for a season or two uh, maybe only in a certain region on a tiny island in the middle of nowhere I, i'm not sure what the what the situation was but uh anyhow um yeah if you see one of these pop up on ebay and it's brand new i say go for it if it needs a lot of repairs and looks like it's been abused i would i would i would definitely recommend you pass on it because you're going to spend a lot of money hunting down parts and um, and you're going to be very disappointed when you get the parts and you realize how crappy they are and how weak they are i don't know if this is this old plastic is is so old now or what but uh yeah this is just a very brittle fragile um relic i would say anyhow uh thanks for watching um probably make some more videos today because like i said i'm bored um happy holidays to everyone all right thanks